I remember one time I was in Chicago getting an award. Uh, I used to be a sports agent, uh, and I was actually the first sports agent African American in NASCAR. But I was up, and he told a story. He had been in prison for 20 years. And so I think just one of those scenarios is one too many. We can do better, and we need to do better. These are the issues that I care about. As a, as a gentleman that's looking to be a representative, I also care about what's on your mind. I care about what's on your heart because this is truly a partnership. If I'm to be your agent, I need to have an intimate knowledge about what your issues are so that I can go to Congress and be able to fight on your, on your behalf. You won't find too many politicians want to be in this type of setting. And I can be in the setting with Democrats or Republicans because there are things that tie all of us together. We have to look past our differences and we have to find those common threads that bring us all together. Because at the end of the day, Democrat, Republican, it's man-made. And man has flaws. And so with those flaws, we have to be able to sift through that and find out what can we do to work together. And the issues of disabilities, the issues of the environment, the issues of Medicare, that is, those are not partisan issues. Those are human issues. And we can win on these issues. And I appreciate the candidates that came out tonight. I've been working with uh, Ms. Price. Ms. Fisher, you're doing an excellent job. I take my hat off to you. You can keep yours on. You can keep your hat on, but I'll take my hat off to you. And, uh, I'm really proud of, of Andrew Gillen for what he stands for and what he's doing. Um, I think he did an excellent job at that debate the other night. Yeah. <laughs> but we have, a, we have a ton of great candidates in this race throughout Florida. And I want everybody to know that a vote for April is a vote for Allen. So my name won't be on the ballot, but April's name will be. And so if you can get out and tell, like um, Ms. Mead said, 12 people, just tell 12 people and get them to go and vote, we have a really good chance of winning this election this year. And like I said before, it's going to take a blue wave to fight the red tide. Exactly.